know so much with a lot of the characters, but I think one of the ones that we enjoyed particularly was seeing his relationship with Sarah yeah. develop. And he kind of became her first mate. Mm -hmm, and he's mm -hmm. the one that she goes to. What was that like? I that story. That was that was so much fun. I feel like that was that kind of happened organically just because me and Katie like just get on so well. Uh, like we hang out on and off screen so that was super cool. But it's really, really, really cool. Like I mean uh, I love the fact that Jax is kind of maturing and growing and stepping up in his role on the ship and, and as a as a sequel, he's yeah. kind of maturing a bit more, which is, which is good to see him develop. I think Jax took uh, Rick's betrayal and kind of everything that happened after that, like, one like the hardest of all, of all the crew. So what can you say about his relationship with Rick going forward? Yeah, it's, it's definitely not the same. Um, and um, I, was, I was very kind of adamant for it not to be the same after... I didn't want it to just be like, oh, you kind of, yeah, you were brainwashed, but okay, all's forgiven now. Uh, with Jackson Rip, it's not. It's not forgiven. So, um, yeah, that would be interesting, especially with the introduction of the Time Bureau, uh, who are essentially a reformed and better version of the Time Bureau, uh, without the kind of sinister helping Vandal Savage and kind of killing people in the past sort of vibe, <laughs> as far as I've as I know so far. Um, so that whole element just adds a whole whole new dynamic to how the team functions and how the team approach missions because they've got this other team that they have to compete with. So Victor was telling us earlier that uh, Martin's going to be questioning a lot of things and uh, given your connection uh, with his character, uh, are you uh, going to be having the same feelings? Uh, no, Jax is going to be having the opposite feeling. So where, where Stein is questioning you know, his role on the Wave Rider and on the team, and, and Jax is going to kind of... Jax isn't happy with his kind of lot. When, when they, Stein wants to do more of kind of real world 2017 and just be a regular kind of guy, especially as he's got a daughter now that he never had, so he wants to enjoy that whole fatherhood thing, where Jax is like, hey, Firestorm, like, we kind of need to do this together, so it'll be interesting to see how, how that works and what, what will happen with that whole Firestorm dynamic there. What, what for you have been uh, some of the standout episodes for you know, particularly the last season? There were some great Jack centric episodes like, in that second season. Yeah, um, the Abominations episode with uh, the Confederate zombies and and, uh, and the slave kind of stuff was was a um, was a big one for me. Uh, I really I really admired the fact that we kind of tackled that that topic because you know traveling through time, especially when you're traveling back in time, there were certain certain issues that kind of came up that I feel it wouldn't be proper if you didn't kind of address it in some way, shape or form. And I feel like we did it in, in, a, in a very tactful kind of way and uh, we didn't want to go too heavy on it and make the show kind of really dark and depressing. But also be like, no, this happened and uh, we need to address it. So. Now you can only tell us so much about the next season, but what's the story that you'd like to see um, them, uh, tackle with Jack? <laughs> Do you know what? Honestly, Jack's find some love. Jack's ain't got no love lines. <laughs> I ain't got no love and like, oh, can't catch a break. Like, yo. Um, so, and there have been, there have been, um, like, in season two, a few, a few kind of possible love interesting kind of things that just didn't make it. Um, so, yeah, so we've been, we've been kind of headed in that, in that direction a little bit, so we'll see if it comes to fruition this season. Fingers crossed. Can I just ask you as well, when people hear your British accent, how many of them are kind of mind -blowing? Yeah. Because the American accent is so convincing. Oh, well. Hey, thank you. Um, <laughs> I mean, really, you should ask the Americans. But I <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. No. Nah, everyone's kind of, kind of blown away by it. They're like, wait, what? You, you're British? And I'm like, yeah, mate. London, East London, born and raised. <laughs> what can I say? 
Yeah, yeah it, it's quite it's quite fun. I always like it when someone doesn't know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh nice. <laughs> yeah. So that's always fun. British invasion. <laughs> Are you going to use your accent in the show to get romance? I'm going to ask that one. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I hear that that works. I wouldn't know from personal experience. But, um, <laughs> no, I, I'm not sure. Uh, we, we had we had Jacks putting on an uh, English accent in the, uh, the episode where they went to the moon. Um, so that was that was kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I always like it when I get to use my natural accent. But then I prefer it when I get to use Jackson's American. That's when I feel like I'm really acting when I'm like doing something that's completely different. To myself. So, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs>